my fellow seekers welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been a good while i missed y'all i just been so deep and just you know not just research but being in the flow and just realizing each moment as it is you know living that i feel like i may have perhaps neglected my um, YouTube channel just a teeny tiny bit so on that note I do have a really good video for y'all today um, this video has to do with a message from source that I have been given to give out to you okay I promise you that this is not going to be disappointing in fact, I feel like this is something that your soul has urged you to listen to. So, if you don't mind sitting for a little while with me, I would love to share this message with you from Source. Okay, so I do have it written down right here. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking down right there. Okay, I do have it written down. It's not that I'm trying to not come off as, you know, like, I'm not really trying to, you know, be like as if I'm distracted. You know what I mean? Because you do have some YouTubers out there who are just, like, looking in the viewfinder the whole time to see how good they look while they're doing a video, which is, one, distracting as hell, and it's distorted, you know? But I want you to know the reason why I'm looking down and not directly at the camera as much or often is because of this reason. I have so much I've written down that I have to look down at this and read this to you. You want me to show you? I will show you. Look. Okay. No joke. Okay. Like, I, I want to scroll down. Let, let's see. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. This is what I got to share with you. Okay. All of that. All right. Let's get started, shall we? All right. So, my fellow brothers and sisters. You are currently within the crossroads of your evolutionary process. You are more than a part of the collective unfoldment of the collective conscious shift here in the earth matrix. As divine sparks, you know, light bearers of the creator, you have been born with a great gift. The gift that of essence, essence of creation. To use it in a way that which your soul desires. You know, you began this lifetime with fractals and particles of light of that of the creator. You, my fellow seeker, you hold the sacred fire, okay? This sacred fire, it nests within your lower chakra channels, okay? I'm talking about your root chakra, I'm talking about your your sacral and your solar plexus, okay? This sacred fire is also referred to as the serpent energy, right? The kundalini rising, right? You've always had access to this, by the way, if you haven't known. Um, yeah, you've always had access to embody the sacred fire energy. A temple that which our vessels only hold for so long you must stay mindful of the keys to your temple to access and effectively use this serpent rising power, okay? This energy, this fire energy within you. You must do the work in actively transcending and releasing any disordered, low vibrational um, energy you know you have created in the past, right? Because you notice with most of my videos, I'm like, hey, y'all gotta let go. You just gotta let go. There's a reason why I'm saying that. It's to be able to get into the next step of your ascension process, which is your kundalini rising, okay? Your higher self, your guides, your ancestors are speaking to you through me today when I say, when I say that they have told me, we offer you a golden opportunity once in a lifetime, once in a lifetime opportunity to pull yourself out of the matrix and to go into deeper realization of you as a soul body. 
you are not only alongside me, but as well as a whole bunch of others, okay? We're out there, right? Not many of us are in the public eye. Some of us prefer to be, you know, in solitary. And if anything, this whole process of being a light bearer, of being a beacon of light, is very solitary and secluded, but for good reason. But yes, as I was saying, you, me, others, we're here to assist in the rebirth of consciousness, the birth of a new age, the new earth. We are proactively witnessing right now the unfolding of the new earth. It's like we're, we're with our intent, we are creating a flower that which brings life. This life is consciousness and awareness to others. For far too long, you, they, whoever, have given their power away to those who seem to find false strength in dividing and conquering. You know, those moments have passed. It is time to claim mastery over your own nature, your essence. And then you shall begin your process of, you know, reuniting with all the mirrored parts of yourself as a harmonious, as a loving, illuminating vessel of light. You must reestablish a harmonious communion with your natural state of being. Although a multidimensional being, yes, you have been granted with human physical attributes, you know, your body, your organs in your body, your blood, another form of your life force, that which is manifested in a physical form. But the part I'm talking about right now is the part that's up here, right? Again, I'm always going to be bringing up the brain because for as far as we know, up until now, and as much as scientists can prove that which they can never prove where exactly the soul comes from. They can pinpoint it to one part in our body. And that is here. The cognitive part of us, which is our brains. Okay? It is imperative that you use this physical attribute to extend out messages and wisdom attained from source. You must claim and restore your emotional nature so that it is centered within your solar heart center. You must stop looking outside of yourself for self-worth, you know, love, success, truth. You have within you all the necessary, um, necessary, all that is necessary for spiritual awareness and happiness and joy and abundance. Light body ascension is an easy work, guys. It really isn't. It all starts with the cognitive parts of you, like I was saying, with your brain, right? <clears throat> You know, you have stored away with your essence, your own individualized perceptions. Remind yourself that it, what you've seen is not of their, of the earth plane. You know, but it is the voice of with what's in, you know. It's not out there, right? It's in here. It's always been in here. So, why would one or why would you, depending on whoever is watching this, why would you ever allow yourself to become enamored with the sensations of power and, and acquisitions? Like, yes, we came as co-creators, you know, to build, to perfect the material realm on earth. We came, we heard the call. That's why we incarnated here. Okay. But somewhere along the way, like we, I have, okay, I'm not going to say as if I'm freaking perfect. Like I know I've gotten to the point where I've actually... I don't know, I, be I became to the point where I became so caught up within my own accomplishments, within, you know, possessing things, owning and hoarding. And, you know, eventually this became my measurement of, you know, love and success. 
And I feel like you could relate to this wholeheartedly. Like even just now, like this year, I actually started throwing things away because I'm like, this has been sitting here. You know, do I really need this? No, it's okay. Somebody else can have it, right? Somebody else can, to, can take my trash and turn it into their own treasure if they will. But you know what? Hoarding onto things can be both, you know, materialistically, right? Or emotionally, mentally. We've gotten so far to the point of convincing ourselves that if we're successful or influential enough that we'll be worthy of love. I mean, that's kind of twisted, you know what I mean? Or if you have the greatest riches or the latest uh, technology or whatever, latest item, yeah, something that's outside of you, that you be admired and respected, right? You know, Focusing all of our energy on all these external manifestations only creates momentary satisfaction, right? As well as constant frustration and dissatisfaction. So I want you to ask yourself this. What happens when this ceases to exist? When it's no longer in your possession anymore? When you no longer hold this status? When you no longer hold this item mentally or physically, right? What happens? Who are you then? Who are you going to, you know, revert back to? That job doesn't define you. That shirt doesn't tell me who you are. Does it tell you who you are? Really? How? How? Exactly. Do not ever let the material world manifest or take credit for who the fuck you are. For real. Don't ever let it take credit for your fucking existence. You are an infinite soul. You know, before, during, right now, when you're alive. And after your transition, back and to source. Oh, back and from source. I don't know why I said to. That was weird. Internalizing your self-worth through the material to such an extent. To the point of losing losing okay the very things could bring one to lose all desire for their perceptionalized based life even leading to those uh those to take their own life and i understand this very deeply i've come to the point where i let my emotional attachments right to the to material things here Consumed me to the point where I thought it was that that I thought I wasn't worthy of actually living here anymore because I didn't have control over it anymore. And I know many others who feel the same way. And you know, when I got to really reflecting on this message, it it hit me. It hit me like a ton of bricks. It was like, hey, like, you know, although seemingly so, how do I say it? Like, um. So important then to feel like as if I wasn't worthy, I needed to feel that. Now when I look back on it, it was all fear-based. Fear-based of losing something, losing the attachment, losing the ego, the, the low vibrational ego. I mean, that shit hurts. It tears. It tears at you. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, like I was saying, you know, when people get to this point, it really feels as though... All they loved and treasured has been taken away and, you know, along with their sense of being worthy of love and respect. You know what I mean? So, you must learn to focus on the inner world, okay? The inner parts of you, the soul, the, phys the physical vessel, particularly the mind that creates this illusion. They, as all things, have their own rhythmic cycles, naturally, right? And agendas. <laughs> the soul's progression is enlightenment. Sorry, I said a company. The soul's progression is enlightenment. The mind's progression is wisdom. And the body's progression is obtaining homeostasis, right? It's natural healing. You know, humanity has constantly experienced cycles of stagnation and decay, and which only leaves way for growth and expansion. As you, the bearers of keys, my brothers and sisters, always try to enhance your quality of life at any chance you freaking get, man. I mean, really, if that doesn't say it, then psh, 
you know um you know you don't seek out stimulus and gratification via pleasurable physical sensation and material possessions you know always strive to protect that most pure part of you which is love man it's always going to be love you know to all all the creation all that yourself because you are a part of creation love love is the essence of all creation love is contained with the particles of light that which pour from source that you, which you were born with it is a blessed gift used by all creation and all levels from the highest most powerful to the lowest most diminished it is your birthright to bring forth your own unique self-expression through the divine cosmic blueprint that falls perfectly in accordance with divine placements divine placements in other words divine timing so ask yourself this okay how loving are your creations here you know what kind of temple have you created for your own soul do you identify only with your body and constant and constant judgment and turn and focus on your imperfections in comparison with the ideal, you know, life you have not lived with the ideal body you do not have. This distortion keeps you from, you know, raising um, consciousness. It keeps you in an ideal life. It really does. It keeps you on a raging battlefield within your own freaking mind. I mean, that, that's got to be tiring, you know? To be fighting with your own head all the time. What kind of world have you built with your constant thought forms? Do you understand just how precious the gift of life is? There is a path, you know, open for each of us to take. For us to follow. It doesn't matter what you know situations you ever find yourself in a golden opportunity awaits for you to enable and presume your power to tap into your creativity and i'm not saying you have to be some freaking picasso i mean have you seen picasso's work have you seen it okay but to ensue and presume you know creative ways and bring it out messages from your higher self from your ancestors forward from your guides from source, from the creator, outward into the world. That's what I mean. It's about doing it in different ways. Coming up with metaphors, coming up with pieces of art. If you are a painter, coming up with um, business ideas maybe. I don't know. It just depends on maybe what exactly you are striving for as a person and your certain goal orientations. Like I was saying, to bring out into the earth matrix, you know, those latent abilities you have stored within your cellular memory. And now, more than ever before, if you think about it, we're actually pretty close on this, right? We're barely even getting to the brink of the new age, which the new age that's going to be coming is the age of Aquarius, the age of information, the Bronze Age, okay? And I will be making a video on this soon, so please bear with me i am getting so much ready for you guys it's just this 2021 even just right before it's just gonna be insane with the information insane in the membrane all right i got so much for y'all i got so much for y'all i gotta hold on with me all right we are here to smooth the way in assisting the collective and moving onwards and upward and it is time for all you brave light bowers, the holder of lights, the holders of keys to source, to cross the boundaries of discrimination, you know, disempowerment and limitations. I dare you, my sisters who are women of spirit and beacons and examples of masterful feminine energy among men. And of you, my brothers, the ultimate masculine energies and the integral parts of our system to be as passionate by your sister's side 
We must collectively continue to erase and eliminate the lines and barriers between us, right? Offering and accepting the attributes of each other to integrate this within our mental, emotional vehicles. Your truth lies within your levels of awareness and your assimilation of a cosmic gift, that of consciousness. You must integrate the knowledge and inner wisdom you've acquired and in turn demonstrate this by how you live. The path of ascension is a very solitary, very secular process, right? And I mentioned this in the beginning of the video. You know, your soul's, you know, initiation, initiations are traversing the stages of soul planes of consciousness within here in the earth matrix, which source creator has designed specifically for you and for you alone, not unless you are actively in this lifetime um, in union with your twin soul, which is very rare, okay? Everybody has a twin soul in this current lifetime, all right? Just letting y'all know. Because I know y'all hear that fad about how, oh my God, I met my twin flame. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I'm like, once you actually do get there, it's not fantasy. You know, it's real growth and it's real understanding of the inner self. It really is like looking into a mirror. And I can speak... Um, from this personally myself because it is what I'm going through right now and I wouldn't change it for the world so yes unless you're here with your twin soul this goes for both of you okay both parts of you you know every step you make assists humanity as a whole and you are in the process of becoming one while realizing again we are one right what are the wondrous gifts that will be available to you when you step into the path of ascension is to have access to eternal bliss and that which is a real goal. I mean, honestly, for me, if that's not goals, then I don't know what is. You know, the states of higher dimensions, thus gaining a um, state of truth within yourself, of simply just being, right? Once you integrate consciousness in your heart, you will begin to be in a state of bliss. You will feel a fullness and an expansive power of love that which through many moments you will feel as though you like your heart is just overflown and funny enough I actually almost met a song called that not too long ago so when I got this message out it pretty much you know yeah it hit me some way so this spiritual alchemical process creates within the soul light body and the self the divine elixir of life, so to speak. You can tap into the realms of bliss through meditation. Your goal, well, your ultimate goal is to obtain the bliss while functioning in your daily life simultaneously. You know, that of being of the world, but not of it, not being a product of the world. You know, remain centered in your sacred heart and stay conscious of the source connection within you. Create your own heaven on earth, guys. I mean, the law of cycles of the great, uh, the law of cycles of the great circle of wheel of life ensures that the vibrational patterns that you send forward will re be returned to you in a similar qualified energy. You are at the center of an energy vortex. Okay, this is almost tor toradal. I can't say that word. I toradal. Poor idol. Anyway, I feel like what I mean by this, it's almost spiral like, right? Your energy. And um, it's made up of circular patterns that which you intently projected out into the earth matrix via your solar power center, okay? This, as the sun powers the solar system for just a moment, envision yourself as a, um, as a sun. Okay, S U N as a son of Source God, you are a power source, and your thoughts and actions and intentions radiate forth from you. You know, in a loop of energy that connects with like energy, this energy falls into the natural laws of cause and effect and returns to you, reinforcing your reality. Your body thus absorbs, you know, fear, pain, joy, or abundance. 
depending on the frequencies that is, you know. And what I mean by solar power center, and I went like this, this is your solar plexus, right? Your solar plexus both ejects and receives, projects and receives, consumes energy. This is our natural portal, okay? You know, some people think it's the crown chakra. The crown chakra is more for, for source, right? Being connected with source. So is the third eye and so is the throat chakra. But usually the heart, the solar plexus are the ones that are more connected to the physical parts of um, the world, of this dimension, so to speak. So I don't know if any of y'all seen my videos before where I am doing um, active energy cleansing and pulling out right here. I don't do it up here. I don't do it up here. I don't do it up here, right? I don't do it up there. I do it right here in the solar plexus area because that's where I know where the energy goes and leaves. So any of the remainder energy that which you um, channel out through your solar power center, um, that which flows back in, the remainder of this energy flows up behind you, right? It goes down up behind you, creating the continual loop of our infinity pattern, right? The infinity pattern, okay? While the residual high frequency energy gradually flows into your wheel of creation, this is all of you, this is your aura, this is your, your energetic field. You are continuously adding to your human experience, whether low, whether high vibrational. Each of us, each of you have the ability to create something personal and unique to the divine blueprint for the current collective on earth. You have been given an extraordinary gift by the creator, the unprecedented privilege of participating in creation of your own path, of your own destiny. Each of you has the potential to be immortal, to be spiritually infused immortals. You are multifaceted. You know, your light body can hold more levels than what you can even comprehend at this moment. You know, you are an immortal soul with this um, process of soul expansion and the cosmic light infusion. Lead with the voice that will be heard. See it through eyes that are filtered with love. Remove the judgment from your mind. This is the way that you will find your truth. This is the way that your reality will be overflown with love, joy, and abundance. And if you stuck around with me for this long, I want to say thank you because this is, I know this is pretty long. It's already going to be 28 minutes in, all right? I just got a few more things to touch base on with you, and it's going to be the end of this video, okay? Ultimately, once you get to this state of bliss, this kundalini rising, this eternal bliss, this is your key. This is the last key. This is the way back home. This is the way back to source. My fellow beacons of light, do you not see, do you not feel the power that you have or how powerful you have become? You, my brothers and sisters of the new earth, servers who are creating mass consciousness, consciousness, which is gradually infiltrating and changing the old third and fourth dimensional collective consciousness belief systems. You know, You've been here assisting others to release deeply, deeply integrated fears, you know, sense of shame, unworthiness, or guilt as you expand your awareness and tap into the higher dimensional frequencies. You know, making a commitment to your truth. You've always been standing by your truth, haven't you? You know, making a commitment to your truth, you begin a process of creating mass structure of higher frequencies, which you will join in the energetic field with others. Right? Like attracts like, remember? As you join with others of like mind, like energy, you create what we call synergy. Or synergy, I say synergy. Thus creating a definitive group consciousness, right? Something that's really defined, something that's brought in, something that's sure. I honor these groups. I honor you. And I appreciate you for your 
inner vigor and bravery for even attempting to go this far. And I know, all right, I know your path has been very trying. But please, remind yourself. Remind yourself that the pain and suffering is something only momentarily, that it was never something to hold on to. And, you're, and it's gradually not even your pres, in your presence anymore. It is becoming something that which was a memory that is slowly and surely dissolving. The moment of miracles is upon us now, and it's at hand. Each day we eliminate the repetitive energy between us and restore the connective energy. Let's continue to dissolve the low vibrational energy that swirls around our world. I assure you, whether you ask for validation or not, the coming age of greatness is here. Why? Because we're making it happen, guys. You are making it happen by working on yourself, man. Be aware and continue to be aware of the integral parts that you played here on earth in this lifetime. The creator was with you when you first stepped into the earth matrix, right? So many lifetimes ago. And it will remain so whether you're aware of it or not, whether you're conscious of this or not. And I really want you to consider even getting to this video. I mean, I hope somebody watches this because this message is just too powerful not to let go and notice. It's only 30 minutes of your day and I really, I really hope you took the 30 minutes and got to the end of this video. And just know I love you, okay? That's it for this video. I really hope this message from Source has you know, resonate with you on a soul level, on a deep soul level, you know, consider this. All right. Until next time, my fellow seekers, take it easy and I'll talk to y'all soon. Take care. Bye.